What is going on everybody? So this is going to be a quick run through of how to set up a service account and connect to uh, AWS. So once you create an account on AWS, we just need to go in here and search for IAM and choose users. And add user. Let's call this guy demo. Don't need to give him access to the management council. Uh, notice there's not an option for programmatic access anymore. So that is why I am making this quick run through uh, because I ran into this issue. So we are going to attach policies directly. I know you can make a group, uh, attach policies that way and limit the permissions, but if you're just doing quick projects and want to get going, uh, this is probably the fastest way. So we just need to click on that user and go to security credentials and access, create access key. And I'm going to do application running outside of AWS I plan on using this for Terraform and I'll just put Terra in there. You don't have to do a tag, but I guess you probably should. Uh, so here's your access key and your secret access key. Uh, I will be deleting this account after this video. Uh, so you see we've got it downloaded here. and. I can just go ahead and open that up. All right. Now here I'm going to just go to Visual Studio. And it looks like I'm in the right spot. This is other stuff I was working on. I'll just clear this out. Sure, save. Well, that doesn't want to close, but that's okay. Uh, we will go to extensions over here, and we're just going to look for AWS. And go ahead and install the AWS Toolkit. That's going to take a moment. And I got really small. So I have my access key and secret access key already open over here. I'm just gonna move that to the other screen. Okay. Send anonymous metrics. Nothing wrong with that. You could have just closed that box, but figure they charge enough. I don't need to provide statistics. It's probably best to, but your choice. Okay, so here we could uh, control shift P or uh, go just to view and command palette. Uh, we'll do AWS. Uh, create credential profile. And here we're just going to take the first value here. Not sure why that keeps going small. And we just need to paste that in here. Looks like that double pasted. And hit enter. And then it's asking for our secret access key. And we'll just grab that. And enter. Uh, 
uh, US East one that's close enough to me uh, you could choose a different one uh, but you see we have this default credential now and that's actually in your home directory uh, in a dot w dot aws directory uh, so if you need to add other profiles you could just use what's there what was just up on the screen as a template uh, just change default to another name and uh, that should give you profiles to switch between so here we're just going to click the aws button that we have now and we can click uh, connect and that is the default that we just created and I don't know is that already connected all right so now we're uh, we are connected to AWS uh, we do things like this And so we created a bucket just to show that we are cre or uh, we are connected. Uh, let's see if I can go here to S3 real quick. I guess I could have just done buckets. All right, and there's our new bucket. So again, uh, this was just going to be a quick run through of how to set up a service account to connect to AWS. I'm not sure when they got rid of the programmatic access option, uh, but that tripped me up for a little bit. So hopefully this helps some of you out. And that's all I have for this one.